Can you appreciate God for strength? Can you appreciate God for grace to seek him? Grace to seek him. Grace to seek him. Grace to wait upon him. Grace to cry unto him. Thank him for the past answer prayers. Every of our prayer that God has been answering and the one he's yet to answer, let's appreciate him now. Let's thank him for all he did in the first half. Let's thank him for our expectation concerning the second half. For our expectation concerning the second half is that our second half shall be better than our first half. Manzapo le manchente le mama. Zale baba 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 baba. Karapate gazunta le. Pronde gazanta le mama. Zelebote gazinta le makashente le. Ah, that we thank you for our expectation. The Bible says the expectation of the righteous will not be cut short. Thank you for, his, for your expectation. Mazoke le bakasanta le mama. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you, mighty father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. Can you lift up your voice to heaven and say, Father? Father. Say, Father, Father, for your continuous mercy over me and my family. I am grateful to you. Go ahead and begin to appreciate God for continuous mercy. Continuous mercy. Continuous mercy. Continuous mercy. Pazaka la bato mama. Solo prende kapali magazanta limama. Lord, we thank you for continuous mercy. Oh, if not for your mercy, if not for your grace, if not for your faithfulness, where will we be by now? Lord, we are grateful. Can you thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him because your seeking him will not be in vain. Your seeking him by his mercy will not be in vain. Mazika la balo bashinta limama. Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are grateful because we will not seek you in vain. Lord, we will not seek you in vain. Our seeking you will not be in vain. Papa magazaka le bakusa pa le brande gazanta liya. So brando gazinta li mama. Ah, daddy, we are grateful. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we are praying. Lift up your voice to heaven and say, Father, I plead the blood of Jesus for mercy, for mercy. In your mercy, of my waiting will not be in vain. In your mercy, you will hear my cry. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Manzole bakashin telimama kasanta li. Gabale kaswanta. Tombo le pote gazia kalabo kashin tele. Tambla da 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 da. Kuraba kaseketel le brando kasanta li mama. Zema yegere bo shanta li mama kasanta li. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I told the blog, God say better, amen. Put your hands together for the almighty God. Hallelujah. I am very confident that your second half will be better than your first half. Be standing in his presence as we look at somebody whose second half was better than his first half. Hello? There is an instance in the Bible of somebody whose second half was better than his first half. Genesis 26. And that's where we want to dwell tonight. We've taken time and pain to ask for mercy yesterday. Mercy is a continuous thing. If you read Genesis 26, we read verses 12 13 and 14. Sorry, yes. Verses 12, 13 and 14. Because somebody will end this year and his friend and colleagues and neighbor will be envying him. Amen. Who is that fellow? Are you sure? I know my God will do it for you. If you study this Bible passage, which I believe we are all familiar with, the Bible says, Then Isaac sow in that land and receive it the same year what? And hundredfold, and the Lord did what? Bless him. Then, by the time you get to verse 13, the Bible says, and the man did what? Was great. And do what? Went forward. And do what? And grew. Until he became what? And what was the result? Verse 15. What did he say? 
Verse 14, rather. It says what? For he had possession of flocks and possession of head and uh, great store of servant. And the Philistine did what? The long and short of the three verses of the scripture is that the Bible introduced us that Isaac started the year by sowing. Am I correct? Am I correct? He said in the same year he sowed and reward. Eh? Wonderful. But it did not stop there. The Bible said the man now did what? Was great. And do what? Went forward until he became very great. Because he was great, he went forward and became very great. The result is that the Bible says he had great possession. He had what? Of flocks, of heads, and great store of servants. And of course, at the end of the year, he was already an envy. What does that tell you straight away tonight as we begin to pray? Is that anyone that we end the year better than he or she started? There are certain things that must happen to him or her. And one of those things, number one, the fellow must not be stagnated. The fellow must not be what? And that's why I can pray for you very quickly. Anything that want to stagnate you, that you remain on the same spot, that you will not change the level, in that name that is above every other name, they are going to be destroyed. Your business will not be stagnated. Your progress will not be stagnated. Your career will not be stagnated. Your finances will not be stagnated. Your family will not be stagnated. If you had ever say it, amen. If Isaac had been stagnated, there is no way the Bible will say he was great and did what move forward until he became how very great. And the result, he had great possession of flocks. He had great possession of heads. He had great possession of store of servant. And the Bible said, and the Philistine did what? Envied him. So if you must end the second half of the year better than the first half, stagnation must be taken out of your way. And that's why I pray for you, this second half of the year, you will not be stagnated. Anything already programmed to stagnate you shall be destroyed. Number two, if you must end the first, the second half better than the first half, it means you must not know backwardness. You must not know what? Meaning your situation, your condition must not grow worse than you are now. Is somebody with me, sir? If second half must be better than first half, your situation must improve and not to get worse. To get worse means you experience backwardness or retrogression. Meaning if you had 10 cobble as at today, that 10 cobble must not become 5 cobble. Is somebody listening to me? For second half to be better, it means your 10 cobble must become 20 cobble or 50 cobble. In the case of Isaac, his 10 cobble became 20 cobble because the Bible said he reaped how? A hundredfold. And that's why I decree anything that the enemy has programmed for you to go backward instead of moving forward, right now they shall be destroyed. Because the Bible says he went forward. He did not go backward. Beloved, these are very 
key. These are very what? Key. Another thing you must take note of is that he was not operating from the valley. He was at the top. He was where? Sir, if your second half must be better than your first half, you must come out of the valley. You must do what? You must come out of the valley. On every side, in all your endeavor, is key. If you read Psalm 40, verse 1 to 3, it says, I wait patiently for the Lord. And that's why we are waiting. Hello? And the Bible says, And he inclined unto me, and do what? Had my cry. He brought me up also out of what? An horrible pit, out of the merry clay, and set my feet where? Upon a rock, and established my. And what happened to him? He sang a new song. See? And he had put a new song in my mouth. Even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, sir, so, man, if you can get rid of stagnation, get rid of backwardness, and you are not operating from valley, there are certain things that are imminent. There are certain things that are likely to now happen to you in this second half. One of it is called accelerated promotion. Accelerated what? Accelerated promotion. Accelerated blessing. Because the Bible says the man was great. He went forward. Means he was experiencing accelerated progress. Accelerated blessing. Materially. Financially. Praise the Lord. These are a must. They are what? Hello? They are what? They are what? They are, uh, they, they, they are a must. They are what? A must. If your second half must be better than your... If your second half must be better than your first half, stand on your feet. Have I convinced you? Are you convinced? That your second half will be better than your first half? You are going to pray, sir. Whatever it will take, whatever it will cost, you must not be stagnated. Anything that wants to stagnate you must go now. Lift up your two hands to heaven and say, Father, you can do better. Say, Father, I refuse and I reject any form of stagnation in my life in the second half of the year I refuse to be stagnated I refuse to be stagnated I refuse to remain on the same spot can you go ahead and talk to the almighty God is somebody praying at all Paliga de Brade Gazan Talibaba. Hey, Kalagade Gazan Talibaba. Lord, I refuse. I refuse and I reject any form of stag stagnation. Masika la Bakuta Gazanda. Bara Brade Gazan Talibaba Kashentele. Brother, cry to God. Your business will not be stagnated. Your finance will not be stagnated. Your program will not be stagnated. Your family will not be stagnated. Your career will not be stagnated. Your ministry will not be stagnated. In Jesus, my children, we have prayed. Lift up your voice and say, Father, every arrow of stagnation against my progress in this second half of the year, let it backfire now. Open your mouth and talk to the mighty God. Manse Katila Baba Baba. Eh, Masi Katele Braga Santalia. Oh, eh, Masi Kale Baba Baba Baba. Kalibra Kasanta Limama. 
I will not go around the circle. Gere <laughs> Masantalia. Si Balabosha. Le Gaga Baka Santali. Saplanda Gagara. Basinta Labosha Antali. Oh, Maseke Tele, Mama, Mama, Mama. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Brethren, are you really praying? Lift up your two hands to heaven and say, Father, Father, whatever that will make me to experience backwardness or retrogression in this second half of the year, oh God, my Father, arise on my head, deliver me now. Go ahead and talk to Almighty God. Anything that will make you experience back on it, let God arise for your help and deliver you. Para botega Santa Libama. Selelelelele Masita Libama. Shimale Gaga Baba 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 Baba. Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying for yourself? Calibranda Gazon Talia. Jelelelele Basun Talia. Oh, my Santa Libaba Cassantele. Ah, Kariba Cassantalia. Every arrow of backwardness back to sender. Every arrow of backwardness back to sender. I refuse and I reject backwardness. I refuse and I reject backwardness. Kurama Sekato Libaba. Zaba Gaye Kali, Blando Gazanta Libama. Touch of your mighty God. Thank you, mighty Father. Hey, Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. What can make a man suffer backwardness? You suffer backwardness when you suffer losses. Am I correct? When 10 supposed to become 20 and you lose 5 out of that 10, instead of it increasing, it now reduces. What happened to you? You have gone backward. Why? You have just lost five out of ten. <laughs> Lift up your two hands. Wash out. Look at me. When the year is going to an end, you will discover that a lot of tragedy take place. Am I correct? And those tragedy result to losses. Some outright loss of life. Am I correct? You will see trailers falling. Trailers that are carrying goods that somebody has invested. Maybe it is all that the man has gained from, from January to that period that invested in that particular transaction. And you see it on the, on the road. Everything gone. You saw what happened here in first time. Is it three years ago? When at the bridge somebody's investment was gone within a tinkle of an eye. Over 18 cars was born. You remember? Those are the things we are praying against. The reason why you are fasting and waiting is that no matter how hard the enemy try, you will not be their victim. I say you will not be their victim. You will not suffer any form of loss. You will not gather for enemy to come and take away. Ha. They wait for you to gather. After you have gathered, they come and take it away. To suffer loss means you will not be victim of armed robbery. Yeah. To suffer loss means you will not be victim of fire. Yeah. To suffer loss means you will not be victim of any form of tragedy. Yeah. Are you ready to pray, sir? Yeah. Lift up your two hands to heaven and say, Father, yeah. say, Father, yeah. secure me, O oh God. And protect me, O oh God, against any form of losses. I will not lose. I will not lose anything to the enemy. I will not lose my health. I will not lose my money. I will not lose my finances. I will not lose my my business. I will not lose my opportunity. I will not lose my breakthrough. I will not lose my career. Can you open your mouth and pray that you will not suffer any form of losses? Ah, my labor, sukale, my shentelele. 
Zagala bosh ya chali mama. Sabra garara. Kori basi chali mama. Zantale kasunta bale bosh ya chali ya. Saba lito bali proto gazantali ya. But they pray get any form of losses. There shall be no loss of life. You will not lose any valuable thing. You will not be a victim. Masi kala baba. You will not be a victim of robbery. You will not be a victim of fire. You will not be a victim of any natural disaster. Anything that will ever make you suffer loss will never be your portion. In this second half of the year. Ah, Mariba Santali mama. Kale branda gagaga. Zalaba sontelebo ka Santali. Is somebody praying at all? Is somebody praying at all? In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, take me out of the valley. Take me out of the horrible pit. Take me out of the merry, out of the merry clay. Lord, set my feet upon the rock. Establish my going. All throughout this second half, open your mouth and talk to him. Lord, take me out of the valley. Take me out of the horrible pit. Take me out of the merry clay. Ah, establish my feet upon the rock. Establish my going, oh God. Paribos katele brade kasantalia. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now lift up your two hands. Brethren, this is the second to the last prayer point because I promise we'll finish quarter two because of house fellowship. Lift up the hands and say, Father, Grant me accelerated progress. Grant me accelerated promotion. Grant me accelerated breakthrough. In the mighty name of Jesus, take me higher than the level I am now. Oh God, my Father, take me higher than the level I am now. This second half of the year, let me experience accelerated breakthrough, accelerated progress, accelerated promotion, financially, materially. Let me make progress. Let me was great. Let me move forward. Let me become very great. Are you praying for yourself? Cry to God. Say, Father, let me was great. Let me move forward. Let me become very great. Masuka leba kasa ntali mama Maraka kakaka Brother you don't pray that prayer Standing on the same spot We are talking about moving forward Take a step of faith And tell God I will move forward I will move forward I will not be stagnated I will not accelerate lifting Accelerate promotion Masika la gaga 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 Karaga da gaga gaga Parabababa Karabababa Make progress, make progress. Move forward, move forward, move forward. Masaka la baba. Hey, carry baba. Let it be a settled matter that in the spirit realm you are moving forward. Masuka le gaga gaga gaga. Ba ya kala ba kata gazada. Ba ragada gazakata. Kaka kaka ga. Breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. Accelerated breakthroughs. Accelerated progress. Pari bragazata limama. Solo boskete. Jibra gada basunta. Te balibo kasanta liya. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we have prayed. Finally. Beloved, all these things happen when you go to the beginning of that Bible passage. God said to him, stay where you are. I will be with you. Am I correct? Meaning, all that happened to him for his second half, for him to end that year better, will be called God helping. Am I correct? Can you lift up your two hands and say, Father, more than you help me in first half, please help me in this second half. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Lord, more than you help me in first half, hey, in ministry, in every area, this second half, let it be better. Ah, my remote, a gas and toli, mama. 
Sabaye ke zia tali bragasu talia. Bale kazuta balipo tagazan tali mama. Ke le gaga gaga ga. Shapa la basan talia. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. How many of you want to be an envy? Lift up your hand and say, Father, before the end of this year, make me an envy to many. An envy, an envy, an envy. Let them see your wonders. Let them see your handwork upon my life. Let them see your power. Lord, make me an envy. Let people take a look at me and envy me. Ah, my liba, ba, 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 ba. Hey, karaba ba 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 ba. Olua soromida yo. Kelegere, gazuta brande kasanta li mama. Lord, make me an envy. Almighty God, make me an envy. E on every side, kali katabale, break gazuta le mama mama kashendele. Raka ka 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 ka. Karaga de gazuta le masunta liya. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus. Most wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. Step forth your hands to the altar. Father, we thank you. Particularly for the grace to wait upon you. And the grace to seek you. And the grace to cry to you. Daddy, for all you did in first half, we say thank you. Thank you for how you have started this second half. Thank you for hearing our cry. Thank you for defending all. Thank for fighting our battle. Thank for all round victory. Lord, may you forever be exalted in the name of Jesus. Thank you for you will continually be merciful unto us. In the name of Jesus. Gracious Father, I decree over everyone present and as many listening, wherever they are, this second half of the year, on every side, you will never know stagnation. You will not know financial stagnation. You will not know material stagnation. You will not know stagnation in business. You will not know stagnation in your career. You will not know stagnation in progress. You will not know marital stagnation. You will not know material stagnation. In the mighty name of Jesus, any arrow of stagnation fired at you, back to sender. By fire, let them backfire. Stagnation will never be your portion. You will never go backward. You will go forward uh, and never backward. Uh, you will go forward uh, and never backward. Uh, therefore, you will not suffer loss. You will not be victim of arm robber. In this second half, you will not be victim of fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, you will not lose your health. In the name of Jesus, uh, you will not lose your brain. In the name of Jesus, uh, you will not lose favor. In the name of Jesus, uh, you will not lose your helpers. In the name of Jesus, uh, all that you need to progress, receive in the name of Jesus. I decree over your life every arrow of backwardness and retrogression, let them backfire. I say, let them backfire. You are coming out of the valley, you are coming out of the horrible pit, you are coming out of the merry clay. You will not sink, you will go upward in the mighty name of Jesus. From this minute, in that name that's above every other name, you will go forward. Let God grant you accelerated lifting, accelerated promotion, accelerated breakthrough, accelerated blessing, financially, materially, spiritually, in the name of Jesus. Before the end of this year, you will become an envy. To everyone around you, they will envy you. I said they will envy you. And you will end this year better than you started. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Who oh got the bigger blessing? Shout hallelujah. We are the basket. You just drop your offering. The grace. By the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. And the sinful of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now. Surely, Lord, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall join the house of the Lord forever and ever. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Good morning, Holy Spirit.